Greetings everyone, the good Sonite here, alive and well. Today we've got a bit of an um, important video to discuss. It is about the dangers of mixed fabrics and the threat of eternal damnation upon your soul. So, <laughs> joking, of course. So, what we're talking about today is a bit of a undervalued and underappreciated little piece of uh, kit. Uh, helmet liners, or skull caps, or whatever you're really truly privy to talk to, uh, call them. We've got a few different models here that I've used, and each one has its own uh, benefits and, you know, well, mostly just different benefits. I can't really think of too many issues to wearing a skull cap unless you got like a whole beanie on in the middle of summer, in which case you're probably not going to have a good time. So you got helmets. Everyone, well, most people like to wear helmets. They're good. They're fun. They um, keep the uh, old noggin rolling so you don't uh, get permanent brain damage and, uh, you know, become a politician or something wild like that. So, first one we're going to be looking at is going to be the uh, Sirius Thermex Skull Liner. I actually got the uh, tag for this one. This is one of the first ones I ever purchased on base because they sell it there, so it's very easy to access. It's only $10. It's a really simple, nifty-looking skull liner. So think like a, uh, a beanie, but super lightweight. And these are great. This one's technically thermal. It's supposed to keep your head warm, but... The material is actually so thin, it actually does a better job wicking away sweat. And it just looks really darn neat. Now, the last time I actually wore one of these was many, many years ago. It didn't get destroyed or anything, it actually just got lost. Because I really liked it, because I had a really nice pair of chops going at the time. I got a good picture in the woods, and it was basically Gears of War. It's beautiful. But yeah, so this is a comfortable little piece of a little helmet liner. It's thin enough, it's comfy. Um... My computer's going hand with messages, but I turned off the audio because I am just so smart. So, you get one of these going, you throw your helmet on. Like so, why do I have a light on my helmet? Lights are fun. So, throw our helmet on, clip that in there. We don't have any of our ear pro or anything on this helmet, but as you can see, it doesn't add a whole lot to it. It gives you a little added, ah, it does add a little bit of a girth though. The helmet fits a bit different as a result, but, what you do is you got a little sweat wicking layer. If you have like crazy hair or something going on, this will also kind of like pad that down and keep it from getting caught up in the Velcro or the pads or whatever you got going. We do have very, very nice pads. The uh, 4G, what are they called? Not anti-gravity, 4G something, super. I don't remember the name of them, but they're incredibly comfortable. So that's what really, really matters. So you got comfortable pads, you got that little added skull liner. And also, Helps reduce the amount of overall helmet shake you have because it kind of sits with those pads and everything. So, really neat. So, this one also looks is also fun. You can just wear that around town if you don't have a hat on. I particularly like to use them for nighttime to uh, not break into establishments. Mostly just because they're comfy on the head. But yeah. So that one aside. After that one got lost, the next thing I got was this little Under Armour skull cap. And I think I just got this one on Amazon one day. But this one is an even thinner material. I'd say this one's far more breathable. You got that little air breathable mesh thing at the top, which is great. It's Under Armour, which I mean is a brand that I enjoy wearing. This one is gray, however, so I can't get that center today. There we go. Yeah, it's got to be a center X. Bam. Yeah, so this one actually doesn't go over the ears as much. I think this one's a bit better made. You got the breathability. It's comfortable. That sits up on your head. Far thinner. Of course, we're in Okinawa. It's hot and humid and sweaty every single day. To include winter half of the time. So we throw this one on here. This one sits a bit higher. We don't have that one up on our brow as much. It takes up less space on the back and side. So you're going to get a better seal with your ear pro than the other one. And yeah, it's just a really, really solid helmet line. This one's actually got better grip too, so we can even less helmet shake. This is a replica Opscore. It's not the real one. The real one we're still waiting on. But in the meantime, this gives you a nice little setup there. It's comfy. It gives you a lot more breathability, so it's going to keep your head from overheating to some degree. Not a lot, but it adds extra comfort. And it's fantastic, and a lot of it is all going to come down to your own personal hair and personal preference. And you don't have to wear one at all. I mean, depending on the helmet pads you're using, you could be perfectly fine with just the helmet. Like, my hair is still short enough to not be an issue, and without the extra layer, it's not. I do have the 
camp fit, so we're not going to have like crazy wobble and sway like with the old Mitch helmets and stuff I was using previously, but yeah, comfy little setup for now. But yeah, so outside of all those, the last one is one I actually got from my brother because he used it doing uh, real world operations and he just didn't care to keep it anymore. So we got a little frog gear. So yeah, now we're actually getting into the uh, fire retardant layer of things. And this thing is actually a very, very sexy ball of golf. As you can tell, it is intended to be used in the heat. And it gives you that fireproof protection so uh, you don't get nasty, nasty burns. Which makes it fantastic for cooking bacon in the morning. Because that bacon oil will absolutely ruin your life if you're not careful. So. One of the things is we do have our ears covered, so that means our ears are going to be fire retardant, but it is also going to affect the overall seal you're going to get with your ear pro. And you also may look like you want to very desperately play the role of Lancelot in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. God, I love that movie. Anyway, so you can throw a little mouthpiece up here, you can get it there so you get that nose breathability. If you're wearing glasses, if you're not, you can throw that up over your nose. If you want to look extra gangster, or maybe you want to star in some uh, CSGO, the live action CSGO movie that no one's producing but probably should. I don't know how you would make a CSGO movie, but I assume it would be a fantastic. So this is going to add a lot of girth to our helmet as opposed to the previous ones, but it's also going to look super, super sexy swag. And we almost look like we know what the hell we're doing. And you can do this and be like, hi. And then you'd be like, oh, is that COVID-19? It's going to protect you better from fire than anything else. But yeah, so this one is objectively my favorite because of the added coverage and protection. You can even kind of like pop that up over the ears of your ear pro. Well, I don't really know what. Okay, so I really don't know what you would use that for, but it's there if you want to. I don't know. Put your MRE spoon in there or something so you can stay fat and happy. So, that's everything. Oh okay, yeah, that's not going anywhere. And this one's objectively my favorite. And it might get a little hot in the summer time frame, but you're not gonna like burn. Or, you're also not gonna get sunburn. And sunburn totally sucks. So, thumbs up to this one in particular. If you're not wearing any sort of uh, skull cap or head protection. I mean, that's fine, but there are things out there in case you haven't considered them. And yeah, it's really comfy. <laughs> I do really, really like this one. It's fantastic. Where'd my froggy go? He's on the, oh, he's on the back. Oh yeah, that one. You can also tuck that into your blouse or shirt or whatever for the added protection. So, without pending any comments, questions, and or concerns, that's all I have for you guys, so remember to go bless up in the comments below to avoid the uh, dangers of mixed fabrics. Cheers everyone, see you in the next video.